Hi, get out of here. I'm reviewing a bike pump that says it's also for cars and sports equipment. I've opened it up once. Um, this looks like paper, just not to be confused with a permanent storage bag. It had a little rip in it already, but it's, I think it's just almost like a shipping bag. Up, here comes a car. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's about $30 and it's got a lot of functionality. It looks like sports equipment, patches, a couple tops. I will say, you know, that the feeling is that the plastic is on the thin side. These feel a lot thinner than like a bike you get at a yard sale when you took these off. Stem caps. It's really light, which is good for moving around. This is a little loose. This is metal, I think. Who knows what this stuff is anymore? Let's give it a shot though for $30. All right, so I tried this pump on a soccer ball and it worked. I tried it on an old bike and it worked. And then we tried it on uh, one of those racing stems and I always forget what they're called and I used to work on bikes and it worked. Then I tried it on a 2009 Subaru Forester and I thought it might not work, but it worked, it worked. 32 pounds, 35. It felt like I couldn't quite believe it worked. And as I said, this isn't quite the heaviest pump. It might be for travel. Um, what I'd be curious to see is if this will last as long as a $50 pump or 60, or you'd maybe two of these would last as long as a $60 pump. I'm not sure. Who knows? My suspicion is that this will be worth the money, but it's not gonna last as long as a beefier $40 or $50 one. It worked as advertised for about 30 bucks, so that's great. Okay, so stay inflated out there and don't forget to subscribe. Or uh, if the comments are enabled, which YouTube has been going pretty wild disabling comments for safety and concerns, uh, send me a comment or there is an email. You can contact me. If you want something reviewed or just to uh, give me pointers or feedback, thanks.